China is going pear-shaped as Beijing panics and wheels out the, quote, monetary bazooka. Here comes worldwide inflation. Just a few weeks ago, I did a video how China's on the edge of recession. Well, edge of recession has now progressed to a full-blown Chinese fire drill. Last week, China's ruling Politburo held an emergency economic meeting and decided to crank up the money printers to 11 for the weakening economy, pumping money to consumers, banks, property developers, basically anybody who might spend it. Bloomberg called it a, quote, adrenaline shot, as in it will pump assets but will not last long. So specifically, Beijing is dumping about 4 trillion yuan, which is about half a trillion dollars, to keep things running. The trillion goes to consumer subsidies, including paying mothers to have kids since they are no longer having them. Next up is banks, as always, who get a cool 140 billion US, along with another 100 billion dropped into stock markets. Allegedly, this is all to spur spending, as in the banks lend the money out and these stockholders feel rich. But it will do wonders for the gaping holes in China's teetering financial industry. Beyond the money dump, China slashing interest rates across the board try to make money cheap. And governments do that to try to gin up some tissue fire growth or adrenaline shots. They're slashing down payment requirements on houses, opening a special credit facility so banks and hedge funds can gamble on stocks. And they're cutting the reserve requirement for banks, meaning banks can raid their vaults and go out on a lending spree. Put it together and Beijing is doing everything it can to get money out into the wild, down to bankrolling gamblers and pouring yet more trillions down the black hole of China's comically overbuilt housing market. You may have seen the ghost towns that China has built. Here comes another round. Why so desperate, you might ask? Easy, because China is panicked not only about the coming recession, but that they might be falling into a Japan-style doom loop of structural stagnation thanks to President Xi's anti-business jihad. So the key number here is the interest rate on 30-year government bonds, which is a classic indicator of a zombie economy in the spawning. Ominously, China's 30-year just fell below Japan's, so it is flirting with zombie territory. So as next, brought to you by Unchained.com, near term they are popping the bubbly in Beijing as stocks are soaring. And while 4 trillion yuan is a lot of money to drop in one go, this is not yet the big bang. That would be the long rumored 10 trillion money dump by Beijing. They're not there yet, probably because of the US and Europe have not yet hit the meat of their recessions, meaning that debt-fueled Americans are still buying Chinese exports. If and when that breaks down, either because Americans run out of money or Trump rolls out tariffs on China, Beijing will be up against the wall and it will blow out into worldwide inflation. Now, I mentioned in previous videos that if China goes down, the Chinese people will not have a sense of humor about it. St. Japan, where people shake their heads and obey. Beijing knows this. They know the kinetic history of the Chinese masses when they're angry. And if the economy gets bad enough, they may reach for a war to both distract the population and to clamp down on dissent. Just this week, China launched a massive military exercise in a disputed area of the South China Sea. There may be a lot more to come. Read the rest with charts and all the gory details at ProfSanon.com. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.